Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be leveraging our discussion on the introduction of graphic design. First of all, what is graphic design? I believe that before now you must have seen a flyer or a logo design that got you like, wow, this is a great design. Or you saw some exclusive posters or jingles and you're like, oh man, this is so good. But how does the true meaning of graphic design? Now the answer is no. And then with that comes the answer to the question, what is the meaning of graphic design? Many persons over the years have read up or come up with their own version of the definition to graphic design. But I will take two. So first of all, um, I'm going to take one. Graphic design according to Interaction Design Foundation. Graphic design is a craft where professionals create visual content to communicate messages. Yes, I will take that. And then the second one says, uh, is according to American Institute of Graphic Design Arts. Graphic design is defined as the art and practice of planning and projecting ideas and experiences with visual and textual content. Who is a graphic designer? So, a graphic designer is someone who follows the principle of graphic design to convey information to another. So, naturally, in a professional that follows the basic principle of graphics to create some information that will be passed over to the third parties or to the masses and mark my words, follows the basic principles of graphics. But basic principles, I mean principles of alignment, color, and many other things. Is that that person is a graphic designer? And then this definition or this kind of explanation is just like a layman's understanding of graphic design. So let's take it further. According to collegewag.com, Graphic designers combines art and technology to communicate ideas through images and layouts of websites and printed pages. It's crucial for us to note that a graphic designer is a problem solver that solves or tries to solve problems of the client. Let's take for instance, if a client comes to meet me and say, AJ, I want you to design this flyer for me, I won't just hop in and say, okay, I will do this, I will do that. No, I will try to ascertain the problem in which this flyer will offer a solution to. So like graphic designers are in between the problem of the client and its solution. We are in between. So we are all problem solvers graphic design we are problem solvers away from what we have been saying graphic design unlike other things has some basic principles that must be adhered to otherwise your whole project will be nothing in this video I will explain three of these important principles first is the principle of alignment alignment talks about the position where anything in your design will stay will it stay at the right at the left or at the center these are the three basic major forms of alignment or will it stay at topmost right topmost center topmost left or downmost left downmost center downmost right which position will your design stay that's what principles of alignment does every graphic designer must have this at the tip of his finger so that his or her design will be exquisite, will be top notch because without uh, your alignment being good, your designs will be, uh, it will be unbalanced, the position will be unbalanced. So it's very, very, very crucial that every graphic designer knows the principle of alignment. So from there, I'll move on to the second principle, which is this principle of hierarchy. I believe most of you by now have seen one or two flyers. If you if you were able to notice something, the team of the design has higher font size, like the team is much more larger than every other writer that follows it. So that's called the principle of hierarchy. The team of the design always have the higher, like the highest or the magnified font size. This is to 
much more to give much elaborate, elaboration on what or the topic the design is trying to address so that's it that's for principle of hierarchy and then the last but not the least that we'll talk on is the principle of color psychology literally every design you see must have color because without color there is no design and I, I, I guess without color there is no design that's for sure so it's it's the work of a graphic designer to choose a suitable color that will, choose, that will suit every situation you know colors they have different meanings individual colors have different meanings so it's the work of every graphic designer to choose the exact color for the design so this is what we call the principles of graphic design and without this believe me each any of your graphic design work is as good as nothing so let's take a look at the job opportunities of a graphic designer this totally depends on choice one can choose to become a full-time graphic design freelancer while another person can decide to work with any industry that requires a graphic design the demand for graphic designers these days have increased and so has their salary according to u.s news best jobs Graphic designers made a median salary of $53,380 in 2020. Man, that's a huge sum of money. But that's just an inkling of what graphic design can pay you. Graphic design can pay you millions. And the best thing about it is like, it's a digital skill. It's a digital skill that you can just do at the comfort of your home. At your comfort any place with your smartphone you just be making millions of money graphic design is a very lucrative online digital skill that requires someone to coach you for you to become a very renowned a top-notch graphic designer so if you're interested in becoming a graphic designer you can contact the number that is displayed on the screen Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and then comment on the next video you would like us to make. Thank you.